Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about me and my journey throughout CRNA school. Today's video is gonna be um, like a, do you think you're smart enough for CRNA school? Or are you questioning if you're smart enough for CRNA school? Well, this video is for you and let's get into the nitty gritty. So I'm sure you've, if you've seen my other videos, you've noticed that I'm struggling a lot with self doubt. And that spans from my previous history um, with college because all throughout high school I was doing well I mean I really didn't even have to try I would just literally show up and turn in assignments I probably didn't even pay attention half the time but um, I was top 10% in my class and I don't know just I was in the gifted program from a young age like it just school felt easy for me but then I don't know if it was that I had already checked out of school because I had been like I guess on top of it for so long that when it came to college, I, I wasn't really interested. It also had to span from the fact that I wasn't, I didn't think that the material that I was covering was something that was pertinent to what I needed in the real life, especially for what I wanted to do in the future, which was to become a dentist. So, you know, the pre-med, pre-dent track, you're going with either biology or chemistry. Initially, I had gone with the chemistry route and realized I'm not that great at chemistry to have a major in chemistry. So I did a minor in chem with a major in biology, hated it, hated it the entire time. So, you know, coming out of school with a 2.7 GPA, like to me, that shows that that's who I am, right? Like uh, on paper, I'm a bad student. But if I boil it down, like I barely tried as well. Like I never cracked open a textbook. I maybe pulled one all nighter because it was like, if I didn't, I wasn't gonna pass the class. Uh, to study for the final so it, like total 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 lack of interest then when it came to nursing school I was really interested in it and it was intriguing like it just was a lot and you can't really expect to do that great with I was doing an accelerated nursing program like with the vigorous course load that you know there was and it had a lot going on at the time too, so I ended up with a, my BSN GPA at a 3.4. So, um, the question here is, are you smart enough for CRNA school? So, my struggles with self-doubt have put me in a position where I do feel like, or I did feel like I wasn't smart enough for this program, but being in it, I realize now that it's not about smarts at all. It's, I mean, there is some IQ factor, but it's not about how smart you are coming in. It's how much you want it, how much you want it. If you are dedicated, if you're committed, if you're willing to learn, if you want to learn the material, you will. It's, a, it's all a matter of being interested in the topic, wanting to learn more, wanting to make sure that, you know, you know everything you possibly can if you're going to be a provider that it becomes almost like much easier. I'm not gonna say it's easy. That is not what I'm implying. What I'm implying is if you want it, it becomes smooth to like understand. What I can say from all the material that we've covered so far, I understand it. I may have to do some supplemental stuff in order to understand the concepts on certain things that I find a little difficult to understand, but once I watch supplemental materials and I go over it several times, I understand it. And I feel like if I understand it, it's better than memorizing what I need for the tests. Do you get know what I'm saying? So for me, it's if you have the ability to want something, anything you set your mind to, you can achieve. So just get that out of your head. like. I'm not smart enough for CRNA school. Anyone is smart enough for CRNA school. If you got through nursing school, you're smart enough for CRNA school. You just have to want it. That's it. The bottom line is being committed and being dedicated to the program. You know, you can't slack. That's that's what you're there for. This is your job. Essentially, since you're not working, you're a full-time student. As a full-time student, you have to clock in and clock out. So your hours are your study time. So if you put in that time, you'll get the results. Bottom line. and you know, when it comes to boards, if you've put your maximum effort throughout the three years that you were studying, the boards shouldn't be that difficult. You know, it is more focused, it's different than the NCLEX, but you know, you've been doing this for three years. 
I, I haven't yet gotten into the boards yet, so I'm not sure if I'm if I should be talking about that, but the point is if you're putting in the time and you're putting in the effort, then you should only be able to get the results, the results that you want. Now, if you're half-assing, if you're um, maybe working, maybe not putting enough effort toward school, then you'll get those results as well. You know, you may be borderline in your classes, you may possibly be on the verge of failing a class. So as far as being smart enough, take that out of your mind. It's being able to have the will and the drive for it. As long as you're committed to the program, you will succeed. Bottom line, no matter what you do, no matter what it is in life, if you put your mind to it, you will succeed. So at this point, I have about two weeks left in the semester and I'm doing really well for what I came from. Um, I'm right now sitting at really high B's in two classes and three A's. And I'm thinking that if I do well in the finals, I can come out with uh, the score that I want. So if if you're concerned about, you know, how it's going to be, I think a matter it's a matter of preparing for being a full-time student again because you were just a provider for the last however many years that you were getting your experience for CRNA school. So, you know, you haven't been in the swing of only being in school. I think that's been the hardest obstacle for me um, to become a full-time student from being a um, provider for the home. So if you can get into a groove of being a full-time student, then you should be fine. Honestly, I've been trying to actually set hours for myself so that it's just like if I was going to work. So like, like it, not a job like Monday through Friday, nine to five. Like I try to start early, try to end late, try to take minimal breaks um, and just get it done. You know, it, it, it is what it is. It's a lot of material and there's no way around that. They're not gonna extend the program. They're not gonna extend the classes. They're not gonna shorten the material that you need for the class. Like they still have a curriculum that they have to adhere to. So it's gonna be a lot and, and that's what it is. You just gotta prepare for becoming a full-time student. I think if you can definitely manage it, then it's not even gonna be an issue for you as far as being smart enough for CRNA school. It's about being um, diligent and purposeful and, and doing things with intent. Um, I'm not saying that you can't live your life as well. You know, it's it's not normal to put your life on hold for three years. So definitely find outlets where you can still be you and still do things that you love while still managing to do your job as a full-time student. Um, and then you should succeed. That's it. Bottom line, you'll succeed. The hump and the obstacle really is getting into CRNA school because of the competitive nature of the beast. You know, all you need is one yes. So as soon as you're in, just make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. You know, you've been working hard to get to this point, so don't let it slip away. And that's pretty much it for this video. I feel like I've been elaborating on and on and on about how it's not about smarts, it's about willpower and commitment. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.